Hello everyone, I am Shravani, studying in YHM ECE of Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. Today, I am going to explain about full color quantum dot light emitting diodes based on microactivities. These are my contents. First is introduction, second is literature review, third is methodology, fourth is result and discussion, fifth is conclusion, sixth are references. Introduction. Quantum dot light emitting diodes are a type of LED that uses quantum dots to produce light. These tiny nanocrystals are able to convert electrical energy into light of different colors. Quantum dot light emitting diodes based on microactivities also known as micro LEDs are an emerging type of display technology that combine the properties of quantum dots and micro LEDs. By combining these two technologies, QD LEDs based on microactivities offer several advantages over other display technologies. For example, they can produce bright and vivid colors with eye accuracy and efficiency. This is the device architecture of QD LEDs and the light emitting in wide angle interference and here you can see the light is emitting in multiple beam interference and the colors of quantum dot light emitting diodes, first one is blue color, second is green color, third one is red color, it is emitting the light in eye intensity. As shown in the figure 1.1, the role that a microactivity plays in a creation of full color QLEDs with a white emitter, a top emitting inverted structure QLED is sketched anode, all injection layers, all transport layers, emitted layers, electron transport layers, then red, green and blue pixel based QLED displays with full color and eye resolution can be produced using EMLS patterning technologies. This is the diagram of emitted colors of QD LED and the main objectives are to develop the technology that has the potential to revolutionize the lighting industry with its energy efficiency, low cost and wide range of color options, to improve the efficiency and brightness of displays, to develop the technology that can be used to create high resolution full color displays that are more energy efficient than traditional LCDs. Then to design the device that is based on the desired electrical and optical characteristics such as the current voltage characteristics, light output and spectral response. And uh, next is literature survey. First paper is I luminescence QD LED device with digital and dynamic lightning functions for efficient automotive system. This paper was published in 2022. QD LEDs have high energy efficiency and con consume less power. It can produce high luminance levels. These are the pros of uh, first paper. Then the initial cost of QD LED is higher than traditional lighting sources. These are sen sensitive to temperature changes. These are the cons of first paper. Then second paper is development of INP quantum dot based light emitting diodes. INP is indium phosphate. Then the pros of this paper is INP QD LEDs can emit light at narrow range of wavelength. The emission of the INP QD LEDs can be tuned by adjusting the size of QDs. Cons of this paper is availability of INP QD LEDs is limited. The reliability and dur durability of INP QD LEDs are uncertain. So next, high resolution, high resolution inkjet printing of quantum dot light emitting microdiode arrays. This paper was published in 2020. The pros of this paper is inkjet print, printing technology is a cost effective manufacturing technique compared to the other techniques. Inkjet printing technology can produce QD LED microdiode arrays with high resolution. Cons of this paper is the choice of QD materials for use in inkjet printing may be limited. Inkjet printing technology may have constraints such as nozzle clogging or ink drain. The next paper is high resolution full color quantum dot light emitting diode display fabricated via photolithography approach. Pros of this paper is photolithography approach can produce QD LED displays with full color capability. QD LED displays produce 
using photolithography approach can be made thin and flexible. Cons of this paper is photolithography approach can be a complex and expensive manufacturing technique. Achieving uniformity in the fabrication process can be challenging. So the methodology of QD LEDs are the methodology of QD LED based on micro activities can be divided into several key steps. The first step involves the synthesis of quantum dots of the desired size and uh, composition. In the second step is a substrate is prepared on which the QDs will be de deposited. The substrate can be made of materials such as silicon, glass or plastic and may be patterned or structured using microfabrication techniques. Then the QD LED device is fabricated using microfabrication techniques. This involves the creation of micro sized patterns of structure on the surface of the device to control the properties of the QD LED. The device is optimized by adjusting the microfabrication parameters to achieve the desired performance characteristics such as bright brightness and efficiency. This is the block diagram of QD LED. So, uh, first is substrate. The substrate is the foundation layer of the QD LEDs and is typically made of transparent material such as glass or plastic. Then transparent electrode, a thin layer of transparent conducting material such as indium tin oxide is deposited into the substrate to serve as the anode. Whole transport layer, a layer of organic material is deposited on the top of the anode to facilitate the injection of holes into the active layer. The HDL material is typically chosen to have a higher work function than the anode to facilitate all junction injection. Then is quantum dot layer. The quantum dot layer is active layer of the QD LED where quantum dots are embedded in the matrix material. Then electron transport layer, a layer of organic material is deposited on top of the anode to facilitate the injection into the active layer. Cathode, a layer of metal such as aluminium or magnesium is deposited on top of the ETL to serve as the cathode. When a voltage is applied to the device, holes and electrons are injected into the active layer where they recombine with each other to produce light. The size and decomposition of the quantum dots determine the wavelength of the emitted light allowing for precise control over the color output of the device. This is the flow diagram of the QD LED. It has 8 steps. First one is synthesis quantum dots. Next is prepare substrate. Next is fabricate microactivity. Next is uh, fabricate electrical contacts. Next is test QD LEDs and repeat steps 3 to 5 for multiple QD LEDs. Fabricate device arrays. Next is integrate QD LED with other components and scale up the protection, uh, production. A flow diagram on QD LEDs could provide an overview of entire process from quantum dot synthesis to device fabrication and optimization. With a focus on understanding and understanding the fundamental principles underlying QD LED technology and its potential applications. Prepare a solution or wafer, vapor phase a reactor to synthesize quantum dots with the desired size and decomposition. These are the steps of flow diagram. Results. By centering the above issues based on micro activities, the results of the full color QD LEDs demonstrate the, that the device's overall effectiveness has increased and its color saturation has significantly increased. Moreover, the device can now work at high temperatures and, and the brightness as enhanced. Also, the device design is more flexible with the microactivity based method and it is feasible to tailor the device for certain purposes. For example, a study published in Nature in 2020 reported on a new type of QD LED that uses a spe specially, specially designed structure to enhance the performance of red, green and blue QDs. The other studies have focused on developing new type of QDs that can emit light at even shorter wavelengths which would enable the certain of the creation of QD LEDs that can display a wider range of colors. For example, a study published in Science Advances in 2021 reported on a new type of QD that can emit light at a wavelength of 450 nanometer. 
which is in the blue part of the spectrum. This represents a significant advance as previous blue emitting QDs have had lower efficiency and stability. Overall, the results of recent research suggested that full color QD LEDs have great potential for use in display and lighting applications and the ongoing advances in the technology are likely to result in even more impressive performance in the future. This is the performance of QD LEDs. First, the uh, high intensity light blue light is emitting. Next is high intensity green light is emitting and then orange light is emitting with the high intensity and at the same time, the red light is also emitting with the high intensity. These are the applications of, uh, these are the few applications of uh, QD LEDs. First one is medical diagnostics, second is lighting and displays, next is robotics, consumer electronics and next is interactive displays. This is the conclusion. Full color quantum dot light emitting diodes based on the microactivities have shown promising results for future display technology. Microactivity based QD LEDs have demonstrated high efficiency, brightness and color purity, making them a potential alternative to traditional display technologies such as LCDs and QD LEDs. The use of microactivities such as microscale patterns or microactivities in QD LEDs allows for precise control over the emission wavelength, enabling the creation of full color displays. Additionally, the use of solution pro processed quantum dots in microactivity QD LEDs makes them cost effective and scalable for la large scale production. While there are still challenges to overcome such as improving the stability and la uh, lifetime of QD LEDs, the rapid progress in QD LED technology suggests us that they, would, that they could become a competitive technology in the display market with their higher efficiency, wide color and potential for flexible displays, full color quantum LEDs based on microactivities hold great promise for the future of display technology. These are the references which I have referred for literature survey. Thank you.